welcome back. It's Clint with All Things Paint. Today, what we're going to be doing is, uh, I went ahead and jumped ahead a bit. Uh, we're going to be painting the first part of the hammer shot here. Uh, I went ahead and just off camera went ahead and taped it up. Um, again, I didn't think anybody was going to really want to watch me sit here and tape for 15 to 30 minutes. So, just went ahead and did it. I just was like, you know, it, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Got a real simple idea going for what we're going to do for colors, and I'll explain that here in a second. But, um, yep, we're finally going to be painting again, which I'm really, really, really happy for. Um, you also notice there's going to be two different areas um, for my videos. I'm currently uploading this going to be, well, let me rephrase that. This video will be now the new series. Uh, i got to finish up a few things. Um, but then I'm going to also jump back and finish off my other two that I had saved from a long time ago, which is in my old apartment. So that's going to be our little change here. Drive me nuts. So, yeah, you might notice that, but that's okay. Again, it's only two seasons or uh, two playlists worth. So it should be pretty quick, pretty easy. But, yeah, with that, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going over all the orange and this little bit of black here. Um... Mainly what we're going to be doing is we're going to hit it with a uh, flat rust, which is a really, really, really nice color. And we're also going to hit it with some uh, flat brass. I'm going to add just a dash of that in to see how that helps. Then also uh, metallic gold. We got some metallic gold here. And we also got some gunmetal gray, which is going to be real nice. And this one is a flat rubber. Now this is just to give it a little bit darker feel. So we're going to hit those colors on the orange parts today. And then on the taped up part, what we're going to be doing is a flat steel um, metallic silver with a little bit of uh, gold metal flake to really kind of just make it go oomph. And then I'm going to weather it out a bit, a little, little deeper more, and including this part here, our cylinder. Is going to be mainly a flat brass uh, into um, patina. So it might actually be a copper instead of a brass. I just thought about that. Should be more than likely going to be a copper, and then I'm going to go through and patina it to give it that real old look, which is going to, I think, turn out really nice. Now, you saw that I said last video I had to pull a couple more pieces off in order to uh, get some other pieces ready. I had to get the uh, sights ready, and I also have to get the trigger. And the uh, hammer, I'm going to do mainly in a silver for the smaller pieces. The sides are going to go darker. So I'm probably going to do these in a metallic black or a graphite. I'm still deciding, but I'll be hitting that later. So it might be the following episode that you'll see the finishing touches. And uh, But yeah, other than that, um, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, uh, let me get my watch off. Because I don't need a new watch. Since I'm going to be putting on those. Okay. Do have any coffee left? No. Nah, I have no coffee. Okay, I'll probably get some coffee later. But with that, uh, give me a couple seconds here. I'm going to uh, change up the position here. And we'll, uh, we'll get jumping in. We'll get good to go. Oh, and you should see that transition right about now. Okay. We're back. So, first things first. Give me a cup of gloves on. So let's first start off. Our base is going to be our flat rust here. I've already shaken it up, but I'm going to shake it up again. Again, flat rust I think is going to come out as a really good color. Erg! I hate these bottles sometimes. Can't break it. And I 
I unfortunately don't know where my pliers are. Working out like I want it to. Damn bottles. Alright, give me one second here, folks. I gotta go find a pair of plugs. That's what was doing it. I had a really, really, really nice seal. All right, and there's our flat rust. All right, so I'm going to get a good amount in. Oh, yeah, that's a damn good color. That bottle's going to probably be shot. Do that. Okay, and then let's go with some flat brass. Gold. Another bottle. Set that to the side. And some gun. Let me add some rubber in there. Let me mix it. Well, let me add the rubber in real fast. And then some gunmetal gray. Keep forgetting stuff, folks. It's been a weird day. That's nice. I like that. 
But you know what it needs? It needs a little bit more brass, actually. It's weird, but it does. Just a little bit more. I'm just trying to see if I can get a wee bit lighter. And... Let me throw in a little bit more... Gold. There we go. Alright, let's try that, ladies and gents. Oh yeah. Now we're making money. Now he's in biz. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. This is going to be a great base color. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come behind with some darker, probably either gunmetal gray or with uh, a metallic or flat black. Even maybe a metallic graphite. And I think I'm going to be able to mix it a little bit better and get that nice weathering, that dark, dark look. But that's great for a base color. All right. Now, one thing I have noticed is whenever I have the camera on the desk and I'm using this little air compressor, is it does not like to... It, it, it bleh, kind of messes with the camera and it makes it fuzzy. Not really fuzzy, more wavy. So I will be moving the camera once more here in just a second. First, make sure we got enough thinner in there. and mixed. There we go. I want to thin it down because it's going in the airbrush and that is going to be fun. All right. Oh yeah, I truly, truly enjoy that color now. That's a beautiful color and I am uber happy with. Okay, and that seems to be pretty, pretty thinned out. Okay. So, with that, ladies and gents, let me go over here. All right, give me a second. Let me readjust the camera, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let me get that sucker on. That's a sign. here. Beautiful. Let me see if I can get a bit of that out. Okay, I'm going to set that up there for two seconds. Wiped up. There we go. And I'll set that right there just so we have extra. All right. So with that, let us let me readjust here if I can. There we go. And let me grab my sectional. All right. Let's get started.
them up. That's why it's kind of spraying a little weird. Okay. Yes, ladies and gents. That is gorgeous. If I don't say so myself. There we go. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna put that over me. Set that right over here. These out of the way. Flat. Those are going to dry. Okay. So, I'm going to need more paper towels. Okay. Alrighty. So, let me... Alright, guys. Give me one second here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the other part here. We're going to do these in the silver metal flake here. I just need to go grab a few more items. I'll be right back. Okay. And we're back. Alright, so I just had to clean up the airbrush real quick and get it ready for the next color. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to hit it with our uh, metallic silver and our flat steel and then our gold metallic flake. And that's going to be for these pieces right here for all the black to really kind of just change the color of because I'm, I'm not in a... I can weather it out and make it look like a lot nicer black in my opinion. And I'm also going to hit the trigger. I'm going to hit the front sight. And I'm also going to hit the hammer. And go ahead and knock those out as well while I have the chance. Oh, and this little tiny seller. A little tiny filler. I don't know. He's just a little catcher, but I don't want there to be any open spots since it's going to be a fully functioning Nerf rifle, or Nerf pistol, I should say. Excuse me. I can't talk today, guys. What's going on? <laughs> it's Saturday. It's late. I'm tired. Okay. So, first off, some metallic silva. Get a decent amount in there. Put to the side. Some flat steel. Mounts. And what is he doing up there? Some gold metal flake. How does that look? Oh, that looks wonderful. Alright, let's do a mix. See how we came out. flake in there. I really want it to stand. Let's try that. what I'm gonna do. Let's see if I can't transfer. Part of that in there. Let's try that. Okay. Finish off the bottom one might as well. Brand new bottle down the drain.
There we go. That's going to do good, I believe. Let me check the color. Flake is coming through pretty well actually. I'm very surprised. But I think it's gonna look very, very, very nice. Yep, that works for me. Now that it's drying as well. Yeah, we're doing good. Alright guys, we're all set. So let me set you right there. Set you over here. If you ever seen me do that, where I just ran it over this cardboard here, I always do that after I clean it to make sure I get all the water out so it's not hitting on the actual plastic. All right. Set that to the side and let's get a started. Do it from about right here.
Okay, folks. So, that takes care of that. So, let me uh, get the camera rearranged and we'll, uh, we'll talk about what happened. Alrighty, folks. So, as you saw, we just finished up the uh, first part of the painting here. We got the... Uh, we got the main bodies painted, that nice rustic flat brass color looks beautiful. I am very happy with it, almost very brownish, but it looks great. Then we also got the lower part, half other body, uh, second half, all painted that nice, good, almost dull gray, and I really like it. It's almost got a metallic look to it, uh, like an unfinished metal, you know, and it looks really, really nice. I can't wait for it to dry and be able to weather that a little bit more. Um, then we also got the trigger done, we got the uh, front sight done, and we got the little extra piece done there. And we also got the hammer, it's over back here. Um, next painting, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the cylinder. This should be the last big thing we got to uh, paint. Actually, no, it's not going to be the last big thing, so we got to do the cylinder. And we also have to do the lower parts of the handles we got to do the handles and we got to do um the trigger guard and everything right here i'm going to think of something for that later um not sure what i'm going to do yet with that i think what i might actually try here is something i picked up today i've been doing some research on it and it is it is a gel stain and this is just stain that's good for making like PVC pipe look like wood and everything. So I want to give it a try and I want to see how it works and see what happens uh, and go from there. So something, something I'm going to try because if I can, I'll do the whole handle. I'll do the whole bottom part in this gel stain. And then the only thing now I have to determine is do I want to do it in an American walnut or do I want to do it in a golden oak? And I'm thinking since it's more of a pistol rather than a rifle, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say Golden Oak at first, but American Walnut is also looking really, really nice with that color combo. Uh, something I might look into. Um, if not, I'm also going to look at some other color combos here with the enamels. Figure that out. But, yeah. So, with that, I want to thank you all for joining me today. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I know it took me getting up 20 million times. It's been a while since I've actually painted, so I was missing a lot of stuff. And plus, we're still unpacking here at the new apartment, so... But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below if there's anything I missed or said anything wrong. Please let me know. Uh, or if you just want to give me praise, I don't care. <laughs> and if you also uh, really enjoyed the video, please don't forget to uh, subscribe. Make sure you keep the channel up and running so we can get it a little bit higher. And, uh, yeah, if you have any ideas for another nerf you want me to do, let me know in the comments below. All right, and with that, folks, this is uh, All Things Paint signing off. We'll see you next time.